Brothers and sisters, today I would like to share with you a suggestion from Father Chadripaja, an American Catholic priest, theologian, philosopher, and exorcist. He is well known in traditional Catholic circles, has presented many conferences throughout the United States on theological and pastoral subjects, and is the founder of the traditional Catholic Society of the Most Sorrowful Mother in the Archdiocese of Denver, Colorado, United States. In this message from Father Chad Ripaja, he discusses the importance of discipline and sacramentals in protecting the family from spiritual attacks. We strongly encourage the viewers to watch it until the end to ensure they do not miss any relevant information. If you find the message of this video useful, may you not forget to like the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Now, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In an interview in 2020, Father Chad Ripaja gave an answer for the question, I like to see the weapons that the Church has handed down to us that can help us to fortify ourselves, and also if we can talk about fortifying our homes. Here is what he said. I think there's a couple of levels. The first is it's like any other type of military situation, you're not gonna have a decent military without discipline, and that applies even with ourselves internally. You have to have a certain amount of discipline, and what does that mean concretely in the home? It means that the father needs to be encouraging the children to lead a moral life to do all those things that are proper to a Catholic life, to engage in the various devotions, the mother also needs to make sure that a consistent prayer life is being done within the home so that right order is actually followed. In other words there needs to be an interior discipline in the family, and that has to come ultimately through the father's authority, he can't be overbearing, he can't be difficult, but at the same time he has to be firm, and yet at the same time honestly seeking to go to the children etc., and he can't be seeking his own good because that's contrary the nature of authority. So it is own discipline and the discipline it's in the family and maintaining that will be go a long way. A part of that of course is as we mentioned before, making sure everybody in the family is leading a Catholic sacramental life. The second thing is just making use of various sacramentals and devotions, Having Benedict medals in the four corners of the property, make sure the Benedict medals are blessed in the old rite, because they actually have the exorcism that's attached to them, so put it in the four corners of the property, sometimes people will put them over their doorstops, and sometimes put them over the windows, but I don't think that's so much necessarily though, it is encouraged if people want to do it. Making use of holy water, the Father from time to time blessing and sprinkling the house with holy water, having it blessed every epiphany by the priest. You want to make sure that the priest comes and does the epiphany blessing when you move into a new home as a general recommendation. As a general rule I always exorcise the place because you never know, even if it's a new house, what the construction people have done. I have a relative who moved into a brand new house and the people, and the construction had done stuff there, and so we're still cleaning up that house spiritually, 
so exorcising it and then having the priest bless it when you first move in. Also during the various devotions, you know one of the principal ways to harden the target is to get into the habit of being under the mantle of Our Lady. You know she is without it actually has perfect coercive power over demons. So and you see this even in session. When she shows up it's over. There's not even any discussion. The demons don't even talk very much. I mean they might screaming, yelling, carry on of course but the point being is is that having a strong devotion to Our Lady is encouraging. That is one of the key ways to protect the family. End of quotes. Father Chad Ripiger begins by emphasizing the importance of discipline in the family, comparing it to the discipline required in a military situation. He argues that the father has a crucial role to play in maintaining discipline and encouraging his children to lead a moral life and engage in Catholic devotions. He notes that this internal discipline in the family must be complemented by the use of sacramentals and devotions. He recommends placing blessed Benedict medals in the four corners of the property, as they are believed to have an exorcism attached to them. He also recommends making use of holy water, having the Father bless and sprinkle the house from time to time, and having the house blessed by a priest on Epiphany and when first moving in. The devotion to Our Lady is also mentioned as a way of hardening the target against spiritual attacks. Father Chad Ripiger notes that Our Lady has perfect coercive power over demons and that having a strong devotion to her can be a key way to protect the family. He encourages families to encourage this devotion within their families, recognizing that she can be a powerful protector in times of spiritual battle. Overall, Father Ripiger's suggestion emphasizes the importance of both internal discipline within the family and the use of sacramentals and devotions to protect against spiritual attacks. He recognizes that spiritual warfare is a reality and encourages families to take steps to protect themselves and their homes. His message is a reminder of the importance of living a sacramental life and relying on the intercession of the saints and the Blessed Mother in times of spiritual need. Dear brothers and sisters, as we come to the end of the video, let us make sure to express gratitude to Father Ripiger for this suggestion by leaving comments in the comment section. Amen. May God bless each and every one of you and we hope to see you again in our next video.